Greetings, Nick Bocott with Sweetwater here, and today we're looking at an amp that has created a whole bunch of excitement and expectation in the entire guitar playing globe. The brand new diesel flagship, the VHX. <laughs> So what's all the fuss about anyway? Well, number one, it's a brand new diesel amp. Number two, diesel are calling it the answer of the evolving needs of the guitar player today. And number three, it combines a tube preamp, a tube power amp with a digital brain. <laughs> Now, even though modeling and profiling and all sorts of digital effects trickery has been all over the guitar marketplace for years, a lot of players are leery of non-analog stuff. Now, I think one of the main reasons for this is a lot of this stuff is befuddlingly complex for a chap like me who has trouble walking and chewing gum at the same time. Consequently to some, hard rock and digital and MIDI, or dare I say it, metal, digital and MIDI, is an oxymoron that's up there with jumbo shrimp. But fret not, my friends. The VHX is incredibly guitarist friendly. So much so that I was able to master it pretty quickly and very easily without even reading the manual. Perhaps that's because I'm lazy, but whatever. What I'm basically saying is this. If I can do it, you certainly can. <laughs> Now, some of you may be looking at the front panel of the VHX, seeing a screen and thinking, goodness gracious, this is a digital devil. But don't worry, it's not. Rest assured, the tonal heart and soul of the VHX is 110% all tube and totally analog. In fact, to ease my mind and hopefully yours too, I grabbed this handy dandy screwdriver and carefully, very carefully, removed the back grill from the amp and what I saw induced a massive grin. So let's take a look, shall we? Let's go round the back. And take a look at that, it's beautiful. A quartet of KT77 power tubes, five 12AX7s, and two oversized, in fact, massive transformers that Michael Bay would love to have in his movies. Yep, like I said, this baby's tonal DNA is totally tubular. Yes. <laughs> What the new diesel VHX head is, is basically this. It's an all tube analog heart controlled by a digital brain. And that brain contains great sounding effects, cab simulation using IRs, MIDI switching, memory, and a really good tuner. Granted, this fine piece of German engineering doesn't make espresso, but it pretty much ticks every other box on my amp wish list. <laughs> This fire-breathing, four-channel, all-tube monster has no fewer than 30 voicing options. Yes, that's right, I said 30. It also contains all the essential effects you need. They sound really good, and what's more important, they're really easy to dial in. Add to that three programmable effects loops, a cab simulator output with some really great sounding IRs, and a really accurate built-in tuner, and you're set. Plus, wait for it, like I said, MIDI switching and no fewer than 99 memory locations. Yes, that's right, you can program 99 settings in this sucker. And I've got to be honest with you, if you need more than 99 sounds at a gig, I strongly suggest psychiatric help immediately, because you have a problem, my friend. You have a problem. <laughs> Thank you. 
Apparently, this beauty has been on Diesel's to-do list for over a decade now. The reason for the delay? Well, according to them, they were just waiting for technology to get to the point where they could create the VHX without any tonal compromise. And as you've just heard, I think they've hit the mark. The digital effects the VHX contains are as follows. Chorus, phaser, flanger, reverb, delay, compression, pitch shifter, tremolo, an EQ, and also a really cool noise gate. And you can use up to six of them at any one time on any setting. <laughs> Now, Diesel boldly claimed that the amp's user interface is intuitive. And guess what? I concur, because I can use it without the manual. They also do state in the manual, however, that you do not need an engineering degree to operate the amp. And once again, I'm proof of that. Yep, it's that easy. The thing I really like about the amp's user interface is this. It has one page for amp settings and that's it. One page for choosing the effects you want to use, then one page for each effect you choose so you can dial it in one page for the cab simulation setup, and then a page to name your setting and then store it. That's it. One page per thing, one page per item. None of this deep diving, multi-layered pieces of nonsense that give me a brain ache. Anyway, enough of my blabber. Let's listen to a few sounds I dialed in earlier, shall we? And I'm gonna use several guitars during the course of this, not to impress you with my collection, but to show you how well this amp suits all types of different guitars with different pickups, be they active, passive, hot, vintage, whatever. Let's get at it. <laughs> Thank you. 
that was a lot of stuff and it was also a lot of fun and really easy to dial in. And as I said at the start, if I can do it, you certainly can. Now what you listened to was this, the mic on the cabinet here and also the cab sim at the same time. Now the cab sim is really cool as you can use it both live and in the studio and you can do so in what Diesel calls cabless mode. That's because the VHX has been designed to run safely without a load on it. In fact, this amp is so smart that it detects when nothing is plugged into the speaker outputs and deactivates the power amp immediately. Now that's smart, very smart, because it protects your valuable beloved amp. Like I've said, so far you've been hearing this cabinet and the amp simulate together like this. <laughs> Now let's take the amp out of the equation and just listen to the cab sim by itself. And I'm going to do that just by turning off the master volume. Thus, brilliant. Check it out. Also, as you probably saw from that dial out I just did, I haven't been playing that loud at all. Diesel pride themselves on the fact that the VHX is configured to deliver great tone at ear-friendly, non-deafening volumes. And as you've just heard, in my opinion, they've more than succeeded. To finish off this video, I'm going to show you how easy the VHX is to program. So let's dial in and save a sound from scratch, shall we? To do that, I'm going to grab a Strat loaded with a Duncan JB bridge pickup that's tuned to drop D and dial in an Alice in Chains approved sound. Well, to the best of my ability anyway. So let me change guitars and let's have at it. As I mentioned earlier, one of the great things about this amp is it's one page per tweakable item. So let's start at the amp page. We've got no effects on, no nothing. And we've got four channels to choose from. Green, yellow, blue, and red. And they go up in gain. We're doing Alice in Chains, so let's start at red because it would be rude not to. We need lots of gain, so here we go. This is what it sounds like on green. Not a bad start. Let's do some tweaking, shall we? So we've chosen the red and we're at gain 50 or thereabouts. So I'm going to crank the gain a bit more just because it would be rude not to. And now I've got a shape control which takes me through three separate settings. What zero, one, and two goes from tight to fat. So I'm going to put it in the middle one. And then if I press this encoder here, it takes me through three modes of amp vintage, classic, or modern. And I'm going to stick with classic, which is the middle one. But here is modern, here is vintage. We're just going to stay in the middle for classic because a lot of Jerry's amps are indeed classic ones. So let's see what we've got now. <laughs> Not shabby. Next up, let's tweak treble, middle, and bass. We'll start with treble, and I'm just going to crank it. So I go to this encoder here, and I turn it up. Middle, I'm going to keep kind of lowish. Bass, I'm going to crank. And let's see what I've dialed in blind, shall we? We are getting there. On the other side, I've got the channel volume, presence, mid cut, and deep, which is a really girthy low end thing. So I'm going to add a little bit of deep and a little bit of presence by turning the appropriate encoder. So there's deep going, and this one's for presence. So I've done that. And there we have it. And I think I'm going to leave it there at the moment. Let's just check it out. In fact, let's add a little bit of mid cut. So I'm going to go to this encoder here and turn it. Now let's see what we've got. Yep, we're definitely talking, but we've got noise, so let's dial in a noise gate. So let's turn to the effects page, shall we? Just like this. Dun, dun, dun. As you can see, there are six windows I can insert effects or effects loops. I'm going to leave the pre-loop out because I'm not using any pedals. So let's go straight to box number one. And the encoder for that is this one here. So I'm going to turn it and see if I can find a noise gate. There it is, the gate. Perfect. 
Now, if I want to edit the gate, but it sounds like it's working, I just press this encoder and then I go to the gate page and it's got all of my parameters. So let's see how effective it is as set up. I would say that gate is working, so let's leave it as is. So to get out of it, I go to the back button. Now, what should we add next? Well, Jerry normally doubles or triples his guitars, so let's add some subtle chorus in window two. Here we go. Here's the encoder. Compressor, ba 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 ba. Chorus! Hurrah! So once again, now I found it, I'm gonna press it so I go to the chorus page. And here are my parameters. So let's do some tweaking, shall we? To dial this in, I'm gonna do so without listening because I'm very used to this. It looks like a pedal. It's the same parameters I'm used to dealing with. So I think I know what I wanna dial. So we'll dial and then tweak accordingly. So let's do it. I think that should be good. Let's check it out. Here we go. That's a pretty subtle chorus, isn't it? Now to check out how subtle but effective it is, what I'm gonna do is switch the chorus in and out. So I'm gonna play a chord, I'm gonna press this encoder and that will switch the chorus off and then on again. So here we go. Here it is with subtle chorus. Brilliant. I think we're sounding and looking pretty good. We've still got four more windows we could fill with stuff, be they the effects loops A and B, but I've got no effects in them, so we won't do that. Or I could add more effects, but I don't think I need to, apart from maybe just a smidgen of reverb. So let's put that in window three. So we need reverb in window three, so we're gonna turn the appropriate encoder, which is this one here. And let's keep going until we see. Reverb, dun, dun, dun. I'm going to press it so I can see the parameters and I'm going to make it a big reverb with a low level and I think I'm pretty much there. I might have preset this earlier as a cheat, but let's listen to what it sounds like, shall we? Yeah, I like that. Let's leave it. So let's just play a riff to make sure it sounds good. Then if it does, we will save it. So let's play. Yeah, I'm buying that, let's save it. So this is how simple the save is. I'm gonna go back to that page. Then I need to go to the save page. And as you can see, there's something that looks like a computer disk with a red dot on it. That tells us that I've changed something. So I need to go there and save the sucker. So here we go. Dun, 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 overpass, there we go. We're at 87 empty. I want, don't want it to say empty, so I'm gonna delete by pressing this encoder here. So they're gone. I'm just gonna call this JC, cause that's Jerry Cantrell's initials. So there's my J. I wanna keep that, so I'm gonna press that. Then I'm gonna go to C. Dun, 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 press that. And we're done. So now I just have to hit this store button once and that red dot will disappear. And there it is, forever until I decide otherwise, number 87 is my JC Allison Chains patch. But wait, there's one more thing. We have to set up the cab sim. So let's do that next. Right, cab sim setup time. So what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna go to the cab sim window via this encoder here. And look, there's my cab sim. I can choose the speaker. And I'm gonna leave it at Vintage 30 because that's what Jerry uses. But there's another one called the G12K I could choose. Then I can choose the microphone. There are four to choose from. It's on the SM57. And that's my mic of choice, so I'm gonna leave it. The only other thing I can change, apart from some tones, lows, highs, and volume, and I'm gonna leave those alone, is I can choose where the mic sits. So I just turn this encoder here, and look, my microphone is moving. And I like to place the mic right at the edge of the cone right there. So let's see what we've got. We've got Vintage 30 with an SM57 with mic placed at the cone. So to check it out, I'm gonna turn the master volume down thus stopping sound going into this cabinet here. So we just hear the cab sim by itself. So turn master off, let's listen to the cab sim. Mm -hmm. 
I'm sold, so I'm going to save it one more time, and that will forever remain my JC patch. Well, until this amp is sold, which is where it is, so lucky user, you've got all my patches. Hurrah! And that just shows you how simple and intuitive the VHX is to program. Like I said, if I can do it, you certainly can. Now, as mentioned at the start, you can do switching via MIDI or via the Diesel Columbus pedal, and the switching, I'm happy to report, is seamless. No glitches, no gaps, no nothing, just from one to the other. Bam. I'm going to prove that via my playout, as I'll be switching from rhythm to lead with the Columbus. The backing track I'll be playing over, by the way, was pre-recorded using the VHX's Cab Sim. And there you have it. What a wonderful sounding and intuitive, easy to use, versatile beast this amp is. For more info on the Diesel VHX, please go to Sweetwater.com, or better still, call your sales engineer, and he or she will be only too glad to guide you through its many, many wonderful features. Have a good one. See ya! So much for watching. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please like, comment nicely, and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, just click here. Also, for all your music instrument and pro audio needs, please go to sweetwater.com. Thank you. <laughs>